All right. So before I get into it, I do want to mention that this is actually the second time I am recording this. Uh, the first one did about 70% of the video and then it ended up not being usable. That being said, what a very descriptive name. So I bought this a little over a year ago. I made a video on this exact thing on a completely different channel and somehow the video popped off in views. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I did that. Uh, I bought this at the during the time where it was still very difficult to get a Raspberry Pi for a reasonable price, and I wanted something to mess around with. Because at the time I was getting into the idea of maybe looking to like do smart home stuff, because at the time my wife and I were considering buying a house, and I thought it'd be cool that when we bought a house I would look into smart home stuff, and I found uh, Home Assistant, and then I wanted to use Home Assistant with a Raspberry Pi, but they were being scalped to high hell where I found this guy for about 70 bucks on Amazon. Here's the actual thing itself. It's some little simple mini PC. I'll put the specs up on the screen right now. It's actually something you can get off AliExpress for pretty cheap. And so it's just one of those things where the people will buy a bunch of these, slap their own branding or label on it, and then sell it on. Uh, this has not actually been utilized for the function that I mentioned it would be in the video. Uh, this has pretty much done nothing. Uh, this has pretty much just been sitting in storage the whole time, and I've never actually utilized it. Uh, the purpose this was going to serve is now being served by a completely different computer that I'm still messing with. I don't really have a home lab just yet, so stuff is still in the work. But with this out of the way, let's actually talk about the thing I have today. And it's this guy. Uh, Mini X. So how I found this guy was uh, the company I work for owns a giant building with tons and tons of floors and we leased out the floors that we aren't utilizing and one of the floors the company that was leasing it decided to not renew the lease and so me and my manager went up to scout out the floor as part of the IT department and the company that was abandoning it asked if we wanted to take some of their equipment because they were planning to leave it behind. Uh, we ultimately decided we didn't want any of it because it was all old and not useful. But anyway, they ended up leaving these regardless of what we asked them. Uh, these were actually being used to power their conference rooms, and they are just small little mini PCs. Again, I'll put the specs up right here on the screen. Uh, I haven't actually looked at it too recently, so uh, there's probably going to be points in this where I contradict what's shown on the screen here. But anyway, I thought this would be kind of a fun thing to mess around with because it's not really high power enough to really do a whole lot. Uh, it does have Windows 10 on it, but we're not going to use Windows. Uh, I was thinking of what would be a fun thing to throw on here to mess around with. And I thought, well, I would put like, I would do something silly like SteamOS, but I feel like if I did that, people would be accusing me of copying other channels. So I thought, what is something that I could mess with that is not going to be compromised on this machine, something that is designed for low spec stuff that would be perfectly serviceable on this machine. And then I thought of Chrome OS. Uh, I have Chrome OS Flex. I haven't actually touched it since the developer beta like years and years ago. And I had only ever tried to install it on an old laptop of mine that was built for Windows 8. And then when I s stopped using it, I wanted to try using Chrome OS Flex on it and it never worked. Never actually got it to install. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to try and see if I can actually get it installed now because surely years and years of development can surely function, right? And then I want to also remedy a wrong I did in the other video that I mentioned early, uh, the other mini PC thing. Uh, I didn't actually open up the thing in the video and I got quite a few comments of people asking me why I didn't open it up. Take a look inside. So we are going to open up this guy real quick. So I have my not I fix it screwdriver here and we're just going to go ahead and get this guy opened up. All right, and then I did mention earlier that I have actually recorded uh, a version of this stuff uh, that I ended up having to scrap. Uh, this did include going into this machine and there's specifically one thing in here that I did end up messing up in the original footage that I'll now have to explain. Uh, so I've actually already been in here, so I know what it looks like, but of course not in, the, in this video. So we get the bottom off and then we get access to the RAM and the SSD. 
I was actually kind of surprised. I was expecting it to be some sort of EMMC chip, but it's actually a full 2280 uh, S uh, SSD. Uh, the thing that I messed up here is it's very hard to see on the footage, but uh, I accidentally broke the Wi-Fi antennas. So <laughs> underneath this board is where the Wi-Fi antennas were actually mounted and uh, they're kind of broken. So uh, I accidentally did that putting it back together. But here we can see the single stick of RAM, which I believe is a 4 gig DDR3. So there is room for one more, but I unfortunately don't have any spare RAM on me, so I can't upgrade that. And then I don't actually have any 2280 SSDs that aren't being utilized by something, so I can't upgrade this either. But that's fine because Chrome OS doesn't really need a whole lot. It's literally meant for machines that have even less memory than this, or about the same or less hard drive space than this. So let's try and open it up a little bit further to see the underside and see the uh, where I broke everything. All right, and then here's the other side of the board. Uh, where the antennas were actually stuck to is inside here. So they were stuck to like this corner and this corner. And then while I was putting it back together, I ended up snapping the, the wires. Uh, so unfortunately, no Wi-Fi, but it doesn't matter because I'm even if I wanted to use this machine, uh, I would just have it plugged into Ethernet anyway, so it's no real loss that the, the Wi-Fi doesn't function. But we get a look under the other side, we can see a pretty sizable fan and a little bit of a metal uh, heat sink for the CPU. Again, I don't know off the top of my head what it is. It's, again, the specs I haven't looked at in quite some time. I'm pretty sure it's either some sort of Celeron or Pentium, something like that. Uh, and we can see the real-time clock battery and then there's just not really a whole lot other happening here so i think with that i'm just going to put it back together and then we'll cut to actually installing chrome os all right and then after a pretty embarrassing amount of time it took me to put this back together uh it, it's back together so let's go ahead and now get it plugged into everything and see if we can get chrome os flex installed okay so ignore a bit of the jank with the setup that's just how it's gonna have to be as i continue to figure things out but anyway, we got the monitor here. It's the only monitor I had lying around that I could really utilize for this. And then you can see I got the little mini PC set up here. Got it plugged into Ethernet because I imagine we're going to need some networking. So let's go ahead and boot it up and we'll get into the BIOS. I already do know this is set up correctly because, of course, like I said, I recorded some of this, unfortunately. Uh, so I already know that the BIOS is set up correctly to boot from the flash drive, but we'll go ahead and check it anyway. All right, and then in the BIOS, there really isn't anything too fancy or stand out, but again, we want to, well, it looks like it changed it. So we'll go ahead and change this to the USB drive and then we'll save and exit. And then we'll see if it uh, boots into Chrome OS Flex. And there we go. We get the Chrome OS Flex screen. Now let's see if it actually makes it past this. In the, the other version I did, I used a completely different flash drive and it didn't actually even boot. It just sat at the screen for like 10 minutes and did nothing. So I've swapped out the flash drive. And there we go. Uh, the, it's probably gonna look a little blown out because of the colors. And even still, it uh, looks very weird for me as well. Uh, I think the monitor doesn't like this. So we'll hit get started We're using Chrome OS. We'll hit install, next. Install, install. Now on the, I mentioned before I try installing this on a laptop of mine, it would get to this part where it would install and then it would just fail every time. No matter what I did, it would fail right here. I could try Chrome OS Flex just fine, but could never actually install it. So let's see if it actually succeeds. All right, we actually got a installation complete screen, which uh, I have never actually seen before. So it'll shut down, remove the flash drive. Is there any way I can like speed it up? 
don't want to wait a full minute for it to reboot. Let me do it now, please. Uh, I guess not. So, I guess we're waiting. Hey, there we go. The Chrome OS Flex Screen. Uh, for personal use. Checking for updates. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't actually have to because I just built the installer, but whatever. It's plugged directly into my modem, so uh, it should download pretty quickly. All right, well, uh, I guess I will log into my Google account, so give me one second. All right, and we got logged in, so we'll, uh, we don't, well, actually, terms and conditions probably have to. Now, because I'm, I signed to this, I'm getting a bunch of alerts on my phone about somebody logging in. Sure, Gemini, don't really care. Um, we'll make it a little bit bigger. Uh, we will stick with dark theme. All right. I do not want any notifications. Oh, and it's going to start downloading all my stuff. Okay. All right, and so there is Chrome OS Flex. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually surprised that it kind of worked because like I said, the only other time I've actually messed with it, it didn't function. So now what are we going to do with it? Well, there's actually one thing I want to test and that is I, I want to try and stream a game from my main computer, which is just uh, a couple feet over and see if I can stream a Steam game to this. So I'm going to try and figure that out real quick. All right, well, uh, unfortunately, uh, it seems that uh, the Steam for Chromebook beta is not available on Chrome OS Flex. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> that was really all I had. Cause I wanted to try and uh, stream a game. Uh, I tried looking up like Steam Link, uh, and I found people mentioning that you have to enable the Google Play Store but it doesn't seem that there's any sort of function to do that here. Uh, definitely doesn't come up. It's not as listed as any installed app. So I don't know if they've changed anything. Uh, there's the books. Well, here's Google Play, but again, it's... Oh, I am... Let's just try searching for Steam Link here. Steam Link. It'll let me install it. Uh, not to my phone. Uh, nope, it will not let me install here. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, this is where the Steam OS Flex journey ends. Uh, it ended as quickly as it began but I honestly was not really expecting a whole lot from this to begin with. I was also kind of expecting it to fail just like it was on the laptop I had been testing or I had last tested it with. So uh, with that, uh, this comes to a very anticlimactic end, but uh, technically, yes, this can run Chrome OS Flex. Uh, yeah. Uh, so with that, I don't really know what else I actually want to do with this thing. So if people have some recommendations of things I can mess with or you want to see me mess with, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, like I said, it was I have something already kind of serving a, a, a very small base of my home lab setup that I've been messing with. That's running uh, Casa OS with some Docker containers and stuff like that. So I don't need anything doing that sort of work. But uh, if you have any ideas for something I can purpose this for, or if you just want me to test other things, uh, let me know. But yeah, uh, with that, uh, we're gonna uh, very, uh, gonna end this uh, very anticlimactically. Uh, Chrome OS Flex, uh, it does work. Uh, it has now worked on one of the two machines I've tried it on. So uh, congratulations, Google. Uh, you have a 50% hit rate.